would you like to have one of the most fashionable plants in Australia at the moment and save yourself well over $100? Well, that's what I'm going to show you right now, how to do both. This is Yucca elephantipes. It's a thing that's normally sold in one of those sort of pots and it looks a bit like bamboo with green on the top and they, you shove them in the garden, they really do look awesome once they thicken up. But you can chop these bits off when they start to grow because they do grow into big clumps and strike them as giant cuttings. This is very, very easy to do. I'll show you how to do it and you get this fashionable plant. By the way, it's also a very good indoor plant. The first thing we've got to do is strip. This. So what we're going to do, partly so I can get in there safely, but partly for the striking of the cuttings, going to remove the lower leaves. There'll be those amongst you who want to know how to do stripping, or maybe a man wants to show his wife how to do stripping. Uh, to remove uh, leaves like this, you just pull down. And that's how you strip. The next step is simply to cut the stem, which is very soft, with a saw. After letting the ends dry off a bit in the sun, next stage is simply to put them into something that you're going to strike them in. In our case, we're using, well, it's a mixture of river sand and propagating mix. The fact that this is bent is actually rather nice. Now, probably some of you are wondering, it's a very big cutting, will that grow? Yeah, they do. Um, you can make these any length you want. The only tricky bit is if you cut them into lots of lengths up the stem, which is fine and they will grow, make sure you face them up the right way because if you plant them upside down, you'd be surprised how badly they do. And you don't overwater this. You keep it just moist for a month or two until it's actually struck. Once it's struck, you can do what you like with it. But that plant in that pot in a nursery that's probably $150, and it's only a matter of weeks from now till that will produce roots, and you've got something really fabulous. And in your official capacity as homeowner, what do you think of the idea of stripping it back a bit like that and exposing it? I think it looks fantastic. It's yeah. much better. It was messy yeah. before, wasn't it? It was terrible. This is what it yeah. looked like before. See, that's magic of And yeah. this is what it looks like now. Yeah. So with any of these sorts of plants, a little bit of stripping is good. And you can strip yeah. any of the dracaenas, cordylines, whatever and if you want great. to cut bits off, mm. they all grow. Are you happy? Very happy, thank you very much. It's great.